Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Today we are take we are decorating with um, some fun and simple ways in a junk journal. Just wanted to show you some different ideas. Um, pulling back some ideas from the past and giving them new tweaks. So let's have some fun with that. I'm using book pages today and all sorts of little bits and bobs. So I want to show you two prototypes that we're going to be doing. One is qu called the quadruple pocket. In three moves you can make four pockets, actually five, but uh, it's pretty easy, pretty fun, and uh, we'll make some of these out of book pages. And this is just a simple uh, journal card. It's covered with a book page and a um, fussy cutout picture, and it's made on a um, an index card. So if you have index cards, these make great junk journal um, uh, journal cards that you can tuck into pockets and tucks in your junk journals. So, all right. Well, let's start with this little guy, and let me show you first of all how we'll. We'll put them into the book here somewhere. Let's start. I think we're going to start in the first one again. Thinking, counting every third page to put something. I was just like a random way of decorating this book. Um, oh, that's a pretty page. Maybe I'm going to put that right there. I think I am. So you can get an idea of what the finished product will look like. And also, um, I'll show you the individual pockets on this little quadruple pocket guy. Um, I may, I, I may call it a quintuple pocket. We're just going to see because we're going to do the U-shaped glue. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think I put that in there. Okay, so the pockets in question as she fumbles for her... Yep, found it. Bone folder. There's a big... This is the fourth pocket. There's actually another pocket behind the fourth pocket, which is now a viable pocket. So... We're going to tuck something back there, just for maybe a photo. That would be nice. Here's some of these really cool old tin-type photos from the turn of the century. And they're a fun thing to add to junk journals if you ever come across them. So this is going in the very back. So that's pocket five. This is pocket four. Um, this is pocket three. Tuck a couple. Pocket two. And pocket one. So it's actually a, it's a quintuple. So we've upped a pocket. <laughs> okay. So, and that's what it can look like. You can also make it a removable by just putting it in with a paper clip. So we will first make one of those. Um, oh, this came out of here somewhere. I don't know where. We'll just tuck it in here. Okay, there we go. These are really easy to make. And I would say, um, this, is a, this one I actually made from this size of a book page. And this book page, for those who want to know, <coughs> is nine by six-ish, or maybe just a smidge smaller, but that's what it is. So, okay, we're going to demonstrate the three-fold technique on how to make this guy. All right, ready? <coughs> First, we're going to make bunny ears. We're going to grab this corner and bring it up here and make what I call these little bunny ears. So we have something that looks like that. Okay, then we're going to take this side and fold it in a bit. You're aligning this bottom with this bottom. That's what you're shooting for. And then this one, you come over and you do the top. You want to have this little outie pocket on the one flap that is on the outside. So don't do it like this or you'll lose a pocket. But if you do it like this, you'll have the pocket, the extra pocket. And there, all we're gonna do at this point is come in with a little bit of glue and we're going to glue this bottom here and across the bottom there. Okay. So there. Now we are sealed and we officially have made our five pockets. Um, if you do want to do inking, I would recommend you do it before you glue it together, which I just realized. And now I'm going to take it apart just like that and just do a little bit of inking. And I'm going to ask myself where the inking might show. Maybe we'll do pink inking today because we're, we're just feeling different and dandy. There's my, my pink dauber. Are we rolling? Well, we're rolling. Okay. <clears throat> so this is going to be on the outside. What will show? What will show? It's probably a pink brown color because I probably cross pollinated it at some point along the way. It happens. It's okay. And if you have to open it up a little bit so that you can appropriately ink because you forgot to do that before because sometimes it's hard to tell until you actually fold it up to see where the ink needs to go so just remember that 
Okay, so hoping you guys are having fun out there in paper land. Um, you know, while we still have paper on this planet and everything hasn't gone cyberspace, um, let's grab our papers and have some fun. It's a great way to use up old book pages. It doesn't take a lot of supply. You can get your hands on an old book. Um, maybe a book that everybody's done reading or has no purpose. It might just get, you know, ignored on a shelf. We're keeping it for some strange reason because we think, you know, somebody in somewhere else in the world might use this book. Probably not going to happen. A lot of books do get destroyed, sadly. Oh, this is folded the wrong way. You can see I don't have my little outie pocket. And my glue is wanting to, to glue. Okay. There. And um, so I think it's okay to repurpose a book and turn it into other fun things that can be maybe breathe new sparks of imagination for somebody. Like, oh, what else can we make out of a book? You know? Um, plus, it might be nostalgic for somebody to see these old book pages. Maybe remind them of an old algebra class or an old science class or whatever they were into. You know, I mean, everything has history attached to it. Okay, so we have our basic construct. So behind would be five, four, three, three, two, and one. Okay, so there we go. So now it's just about stuffing and decorating. And I've just got random things on the desk here. Let's see if I can. Oh, this is kind of cute. Would that fit? That might, well, it might be kind of, let's see if I can go in there. Yeah, I think I can go in there. This is kind of cute. It's a big tag, and somebody could use that as a pocket or a tuck or something. So maybe I'm going to tuck that in pocket number four. That could go in four or five. And let's see what else we have here. It's a pretty flower. I'm going to tuck you in pocket number one. I'm just designing, you know, just kind of go along and design. Now, you can you can stick things onto the pockets and then put things into the pockets. So maybe that's what we'll do with this little um, squirrel sticker that somehow I magically am going to be able to get away from the back paper. We'll have him, like, peeking out. Okay. This one I'm not going to stick down so that the recipient can use it. Um, we can just find some fun stuff here. We got fun stuff. There's fun stuff in the house. Um, this is kind of pretty. This is a happy Easter, and this is also very pretty. But I like the, the color on that. That's very nice. That's going to go in pocket number. So there's bat one, two, three. I'm counting backwards. There's just one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And <clears throat> you can you can tuck anything in here. Um, if you have little pieces of paper and you want to give them extra writing room, you can tuck them in there. That's a nice thing to do. I've got some old... Victorian tea cards. Let's see which would be a nice one to put in here. I love the, I love the font on that one. This is Willard Hodgen. Hodgden. There we go. Okay, so four, three, two. I'm gonna get bunny face up there a little bit more. Okay. And let's see. Um maybe we will do a picture again in the back. I do like using these old black and white photos. They're kind of cool. Harken back to the, oh, this is a really cool old picture. Let's pick out something really neat. All right, so what do we got here? Oh, you're, you're cute, okay. I'm just gonna bring a few over here and we'll just see. And they can be anything. Um, environmental pictures, scenery pictures. Um, here's some type of weaving. Somebody who's making a wreath or a basket or something like that. Um, just these, even though they're, they're a little fuzzy and a little grainy, I think it's like, peeking back into time. It's kind of cool. Here's a really cool picture of an old house, but that might be too wide. That's too wide. Okay, so you don't work. Um, no, you got to be thinner. Are you thin enough? You might, you're, yeah, it's going to be close. Um, let me grab a different picture. All right, we got a few more here. I also have a label. What's that? Oh, it's a boat. You would fit in the back. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's kind of cool. That would fit perfectly in the back. I love this mysterious picture of a woman looking into the building of a house. Who is she? Is that going to be her house? Um, hmm. I'm assuming that's her back because I don't see her face or she's the headless woman. Strange, huh? Yeah, I think that's her back. Let's go with that. Um, okay, we'll do that. And then we will tuck that in the back. And... Um, I'm going to stickle this now because I have it here. And, and this is, I'm calling it stickles, but this is liquid pearls. It's um, a little 
decorating tool to or product to make it look like you have rivets on here. It's just very easy. This color is, in case anybody wants to know, uh, bronze. There you go. Uh, my favorite motion with this is down up, down up. Now you would actually take this out, but since I'm doing it for the video, I'm going to leave it in place. Take it out until you're done. See there, I already. I'm going to take it out. <laughs> okay, I've already laid my elbow in the stickles, and then I would wait for all this to dry before I load it up with things. So I think I can do that while we're making the other things. So how about that would be logical? Yeah. I'm just going around here, and can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get a little closer. Uh -oh. A little too close. Okay. Um, around the bottom with the rivets down the side. I'm that Sunny is giving us a score alert. That's what's going on in the household. And I'm just going to do all the rims around this. This is pretty. And if you don't have a stickles or something like this, you can do it with a black marker or any color marker or pen. You can just make dots or little X's or something like that. Don't always have to have all this extra stuff. Okay. Maybe I'll even do, I didn't do these on the other one, but I'm going to, for completeness, it also demarcates the actual pockets a little bit better so somebody can see there's some stuff in here to pull out and ferret through. Okay, there we go. So that is the quintuple pocket. And I'm going to put all its goodies. One, two, three, four, five over here and try not to touch a, a dot of this until it's dry. And then we'll load that and glue that. So the next thing we're going to do is make a journal card, which somebody can write on the back of. Okay, so let's do that. It's a very easy process. Um, just taking an index card. Maybe have some, we can get these at the Dollar Tree if you need. Uh, it's easy to do with a... Um, here's an Amazon glue stick. I just, for some reason, can't find my Scotch Create glue stick. So I'm going on with Amazon washable, safe, non-toxic Amazon Basics glue stick. And I think it's actually a pretty decent glue stick. Not as good as the Scotch Create, but that's um, a lot more expensive. And you don't always have to use the big gun. You know what I mean? It's like you don't need a uh, you don't need a blowtorch to deal with a mosquito. Okay, there we go. So this is just that. And I have some leftover paper here. Now this one. I didn't wrinkle, but I think this one I'm going to wrinkle because it's already wrinkled. So why fight the wrinkle, right? Just go with the wrinkle. I'm going to wrinkle it. And I think that might give us a different, different look. Okay, so I think now that it's wrinkled, keep it in the wrinkle form and maybe just go around and mark the edges a little bit. I don't know if this is going to work or not. I think it'll help and we might have to like mark it a little bit once we stretch it out. But we're going to definitely have a different look as I tear the paper. Oh yeah, okay. I guess we're going to use this side. And I, I want to put it down wrinkly. Yeah, that's the, the technique we're going for here. We're purposefully, you still want to keep everything covered, but we're keeping some of the wrinkles in here as part of the design. So now I can come across lightly with an uh, ink dauber and it will pick up the wrinkles. Completely different look, right? Uh, same thing, a book page, but just giving it a new little twist. I mean, there's a million and one things we can do with book pages, and they're a great resource, so, um, and they're ubiquitous, they're everywhere, everybody can easily source one, I hope. Um, even the Dollar Tree, if you can't find a book anywhere, you can always go buy one at the Dollar Tree or go to your local thrift store, maybe you can get a book for a lot less. Um, maybe you can, like, just ask your friends, family, and neighbor, hey, you got any books? Because I'm, I'm crafting. Yeah, okay. That's what you tell me. You gotta tell it like that. So you gotta say it with that voice. I'm crafting. Need supplies. What you got? Let me come in. Bear it around. <laughs> sure, I'll have a coffee while I'm here. Why not? And then you'll they'll start asking you about what you're doing, and then you'll start to tell them, and they'll say, what on earth is a junk journal? And then you'll go down that rabbit hole for a while. Yeah, that's what happens. Um, but it's fun. And then they'll, you'll get squirrely face because that's what we do. We get squirrely face looking back at us going, it's a, it's a what? And, and what, what do you do with it? And, and how do you make what junk garbage? Are you talking garbage? You're, you're in your, what, what? And then they get really squirrely face. Um, and you're like, no, it's more like, um, an heirloom book or an explore book. I mean, you can toss those fancy words out there to kind of 
guide them back to this is actually an art form and not just um, real trash. I mean, sometimes it is real trash, and we're not embarrassed about that, but sometimes people don't understand how much fun you can just have with paper. The, the, you know, it's the unsung hero of the art world. Oh, ah, ah, lost my, my liquid pearls went flying. I'll never find it again. Oh, well, I'll, I'll look later. That's okay. So I think I'm going to come around the edges here. I apparently have fluffs attached everywhere. Okay, got this vintage photo going here. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you guys are having fun with your paper. These are just easy things. You can like crank out a bunch of these. You can actually put the whole book page down on a, a piece of college rule or a cardstock or something like that, and then just cut it up almost like a master board and make a bunch of these because these are really pretty and cute. And I don't know, I just think that's a really cool thing. Um, and like me, I don't know if you're like me, but I always get ink on my hands and there's already ink on here. So I just come around and I ink the back to make it, to work it into the vintage look like this. This little journal card has been around the block, and um, it might be old. That's what I'm having it to look like. Um, I'll put a, uh, a flower stamp on this. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's leaf design um, with the black soot. Distress ink. Okay. There we go. And... Uh, I feel like I want to put a little bit of black on here as well. We're just going to, we're going to take it to the next level. Let's go closer. Yeah. yeah. And just let me make sure, okay, the lines are that way. And my, it doesn't really matter, but the text is upright. Um, if that drives your batty, make sure your text is upright. If you don't care and it's just like about the, the design and the look, yeah, go with that. This is going to emphasize even more those wrinkles. Sometimes wrinkles are our friend. At least in the art world, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got that. That's kind of cool. And now we can, um, I think I might do it a little bit more on the edges to give it a little vignette sort of look. Nothing's going to, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm getting some hewing. Hewing is occurring. Um, it would be kind of cool to put a photo or something right on here. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Let's see if I've got a little photo I can... Put on there. Oh, that'd be cool on there. Yeah, that would be cool. Let's see what else. Oh, I got some. What are these? Are they goats? What are they? They they have ends and tails. Are they cows? Are they? Uh, no, are they ostriches. I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Can somebody see this? What are those? I think they're gonna go on here. And that's kind of nice. The white contrast. I like that. Uh, I was gonna cut it down, but I don't think I am. I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put that on there. I think they're ostriches. I could be wrong. Um, okay, getting the glue. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not going to put that on there. Nope, no, I'm backing away slowly. I'm going to put something else. Yeah, I want something with white contrast. Maybe see-through? That's kind of cool. Maybe going with a more layered design. I see you can just change your flow. But anyway, that looks very nice because of the contrast. I think we're going to put that on. I'm not going to dab the edges. Nope, no dabbing going on here. And get the glue. The glue pan. All right, we are going to glue this little piece. I do not think this is a sticker. I think it's just a fussy cut thing that came that way, which is not a bad thing because really, what's the purpose of a sticker? You know, I mean, unless you don't want to use glue, but um, you know, just give me a fussy cut thing and I can I can stick it down. Now, um, this upright is like this, so maybe I'm going to put it like this. Yeah, and it shows lots of wrinkles because I thought the picture was really cool, but it it covered up too many of my my little wrinkles and I want my wrinkles to show today yeah okay that looks kind of cool right and um, if you want and you don't have to do this but if you want you can take a Stabilo pencil aquarellable Stabilo 8046 is the black graphite come around and just draw a nice line around the edge and we're going to enhance our focal point and create even more poppage that's right Okay, so I had a Q-tip, which is now gone, and I'll go get another, because they're right here. 
always a good tool, inexpensive, at the ready, in the craft room. Get a, get a box up. Craft room. Oh, you're not going to have to have a box, but just get a handful. Go swipe them from the bathroom. Okay, a little water. And this is like a dissolvable graphite. It's not like a dissolvable graphite. It is a dissolvable graphite. Okay. Just go around here, and it will just enhance, make the, um, it's almost like a watercolor, this black, where it will spread a little bit and bloom a little bit and just make your uh, centerpiece pop a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Now you could take it up another level and you could sew around it if you wanted to do something like that. But I kind of like that, I just like it the way it is. But you can definitely keep going. Okay, so if we were gonna keep going, and maybe I'm not, I don't wanna sew around it, but maybe, maybe I wanna add a little bling. I know, I know I can do that. All right, so let's see what would be cool in here. These, these pretty pale pink flat back pearls would be pretty. And you can decide how bumpy you want these things. I mean, the smaller ones are less bump. Um, and the way to do this, okay, so the trick is put the dot. I'm going to maybe use these as rivets. One, two, three. Okay, so put your, your glue dots down. And if you have tweezers, they could come in handy here. Um, also, I'm just going to, can you see? Let me back up a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to grab the tweezers and then drop it down on the glue dot. That seems to be the easiest way for me anyway to get these things down. Or else I can sit here and chase these things to, to high heaven. Um, I tried putting the glue on the back of that. That was, nah, don't bother. I mean, you can try it. Go ahead. Go ahead. See how you like it. Have fun. I'll meet you back at this method because <laughs> I've been there. Um, but there may be other ways too, so feel free to share. Okay, so I think that's just a nice little accent. Um, and that's where the fun comes in. Just Oh, I think I'm even going to put two more down. I've got two more in my hand, and why not use them up? They're just little baby ones. Let's see if I can, I can even do this. One dot there, one dot there. It's just what's oozing out of my glue bottle. I'll put my glue bottle down. Now, this will be microsurgery I'm now performing. But it is doable, except it gets stuck to the... Yeah. Okay, we're down. And we got one left. Gonna use what I have. They don't all have to match. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. And we're down. Oh, you can't see anything it's too far. There we go. So that is the finished product. So let us go ahead and place these things in the journal. We have this one. And I do not see the prototype. Where is it? Does anybody see it? It's got to be somewhere here. It can't have gone far. Well, let's, we're going to, maybe it'll show up. We're going to go ahead and place this down. We'll work on this one. Maybe, maybe the prototype will show up. Okay, let's hope it's dry. Not bad. Oh, got to back up. Oh. Not bad. So we are ready to place this. So this is in the first. So I'm gonna go, I have four signatures in here, so I think I'm gonna go in the, maybe the third. What am I in, am I in the third? Okay, this is the third, yes. Where's the last piece of something? Well, there we go. One, two, oh, no, there's a something. One, oh, we got a something here, yep. Oh, we were, look, we've been decorating. We've been busy. It does actually happen quite quickly. That's a nice contrast. Do like that. There's a nice contrast. No, it's not contrast. That would be contrast. Oh, I like that. We'll put it here. Oh, there we go. Put it here with those. Okay, don't, if you want to put something in the back, just remember, just do the U-shaped glue. So that'll give you the five pocket, the quintuple pocket situation. Okay, so now we're going down here. Okay, and we're down. All right, so now we'll grab our goodies and go for goodie placement. So I think we're going to put this in the back. Okay, now you really should wait for your, your thing to dry before you put these in because sometimes they can get stuck. This is going to go in pocket number four. So that's number five. That's number four. Maybe I should switch these so this shows more. Yeah, I love that picture. It's so mysterious. Is she forwards or backwards? It's a mystery. She is definitely the headless woman. Um, okay, there's that one. Five, four... Three, 
two. Oh, one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, there we go. That one is loaded and ready, and now we're ready to play with our journal cards. So we can place these in here somewhere. So let me just find the missing one. Okay, hang on, just looking around the desk. I can't have gone far, I can't have gone far. I can't have, okay, so here's one. Oh, I see it! Yes, okay. So the last two things were in signature one and three, so I think I'm gonna put these in two and four. And I just, oh, look at that, I even got water on that, but we'll just work it into the design. There we go, okay. They're kind of cool, aren't they? I really like these. Yeah, very fun. Very easy to make that wrinkle thing. So, no wrinkle. Wrinkle. Ah, okay. Um, goes with the botanical idea, okay, so. What I did, I did one and three, so I'm gonna do two and four. So I'm looking in two, trying to find out where I last stopped. There's a thing. Oh, so I'm, I am looking actually for tuckable places. So let's see if I put anything like a pocket or a tuck, which I probably did. Oh, you can't see very well. There we go. Okay. And we can also clip them on with a paper clip. So if we can't find the, the perfect place, we can just use a paper clip. I seem to have not decorated that much in here. I need to do more decorating. Um, that's kind of cool. But I think I want to put a piece of ephemera there. So not there. Do I have Oh, I have an up. Oh, okay, we could do something here. There we go. There's one. And then let's go to four. Here's four. Here's a potential. That's that could definitely that could work. Okay, Let's see what else we have in here. So this is the whole concept of just spreading out your little designs and artwork things so that it's evenly stuffed. Oh, I think that could go in there too. I, this is actually a belly band. I don't remember that, but I made a belly band out of it, so I could tuck it here or here. But that's a lot of text, so I'm not going to put that here. So that's my reasoning for not doing that. Yeah. I'll put a picture or something in there, which will be a little bit more of a contrast. And what we got here, is this just a glue down? This might just be a glue down. It's just a glue down. Okay, so in here, I think we are going to go with the just clip it to a page so that you can see the options. A lot of different ways that you can put things into a junk journal. So maybe I want something a little bit more colorful on this. Because, and, and something botanical. So here is um, a clip made out of a, a digi kit. Oh, there's something there. Yeah, no, no, that's not the right page then. One. Let's just use a different page. Maybe here. There's yeah, a nice contrast there. Maybe up here. Maybe this one is nice. It's a small little. Um, I don't know. Okay, there we go. And now it's flipped on there. There we go. Very easy to do. So I hope you had fun with that. We have somebody who has who has a few things to say. Do you have a few things to say? I, I have a few things to say. All right. Well, let's see what you've got in the cooker today. <clears throat> Sunshine here. K9 reporter. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Paper Outpost. I'm, um, I'm, I'm getting older, and I'm a little more eloquent. I'm working on my journalism skills. A greeting everybody, warm welcome, warm welcome to all. Hi Sally over there, um, Sue, Marsha, um, Fred, um, Alistair. Okay, all right, we, we, we get it. <laughs> okay, so um, there was a squirrel this morning. I, I, I can't lie, it was there and it was, he wanted in and I wasn't going to let him in. He did not get in. That is my report. Well, that was a very good report. You know, it's time to go to the spa, right? Oh, did you see that what that ear did? Yeah. Did you say spa? We know that's code for the place with the scissors and the clippers. You don't fool me. I know exactly what that place is. It's not a spa, people. It's not. Don't let them convince you it's a... Okay, I think the big hook is coming... No, not the big hook and take sunshine out. Okay. <laughs> There's no big hook. Um, there you go. 
there you go, folks. So just lots of fun to be had in Junk Journal World. I hope you had fun. And uh, maybe you'll make some fun little paper items today hanging out on your desk. I hope you do. So um, for those of you who are new and who have been here a while, welcome. I have a free monthly email newsletter in case you are... Um, uh, interested in getting a free digital image emailed to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and um, a page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, all at the bottom of every newsletter every month. The sign up is down below in the description box. And um, okay, if you don't have that, I think there's a sign up here somewhere. Here it is. That's that's what you want, the top one. Oh, it's a lot to type in, but you can get there. And um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material. Um, you, um, I have an Etsy shop. Uh, when I have journals and bundles and kits and fundles for sale, I have those available for you. Uh, fundles are collections of old and interesting paper, if you like to work with the, the actual old ephemera. Um, I have 100 plus pieces in a pack. It's free uh, priority mail shipping. And I can mail those uh, out to you right away. Um, I also sell DigiKits, which are printable downloads. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm an example of one. Uh, they're printable downloads, and you can there's five pages each, and you can print them out at home. Um, and there's some pretty pictures. They're all uh, different themes. I'm trying to find an example of that one. They're different themes, and uh, there's a whole bunch of pictures on each page, and you can print them out. Oh, if you don't like to print. Um, I will print them for you. I have a print and mail option. That's all you do is purchase the print and mail option and then give me the names of the 10 digi kits that you want. That'll give you 50 printed pages on lightweight cardstock. And you send that list to me either through Etsy message or to Pam at the paper outpost.com. Email address. And um, I only need the first two or three words of each one so I know which one you're talking about. And um, I have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies, you should be able to find links in there for them. It's an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. So thank you very much for all your support. And I have a t-shirt shop or a uh, merchandise shop if you're looking for a gift for a fellow crafter, friend, or yourself. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.